Oh, look at us go. We don't have a cool looking play map, but we do. You know, lighting's not great. There's a little, it's a little dark right here. Got a drink over here. Don't worry about that. I won't spill it. A little bright. Not the 4K um, that I have for my face cam. I was going to switch it, but, um, but you know, we're, we're here, you know? So we got, get a little, little, little draft boosters. March the machine six times what 15 seven here eight here yeah and these are all stacks of six so what's six times 15 oh my brain doesn't want to do math but it's 90 we got 90 packs of March of the machine draft boosters to open now the thing is I don't know what's good and what's bad I'm gonna be real honest with you I love magic but I don't know much about, um, you know, about what's good and bad in it. But I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna look at this together, and we're gonna figure it out, and uh, we're gonna have some fun. So, um, how are we gonna do this? Let's just stack them up, I guess. I don't wanna stack them too high. There's a lot of packs and a lot of stacks um, and we got to make sure we have room to open some stuff and they are already starting to fall it all falls down already okay boom look at that that's beautiful that's just that's just a sight right there all right now what are these this is 18 stacks of 18 five stacks of 18 instead of uh 15 stacks of six The math maths, okay? The math checks out. So I had to get a little drink. I've been traveling all day. I'm I am tired. But we are gonna get this in because I am excited. We'll see if we can get some good detail if I move it up. I think we'll get some good lighting and detail. I don't know. Okay, wait. I actually need to change something because I keep setting it to not do what it's doing which is this camera is auto-focusing and apparently and apparently my mouse is just deciding it doesn't want to work anywhere. Okay, can I... I know you can hear that, but... Okay, there we go. Let's get this... Let's get this working. Configure video. And then we'll go to camera control. Focus is not auto. We're gonna apply, okay. Close. Perfect. So now it should just be good when I do. Okay, perfect. Let's get into these. First pack. First pack of the night. First pack, baby. All right, let's see what these packs are like. Cause you know, I haven't seen anything. We have Crystal, oh, that's, it's tough to see with this, but Crystal Carapace, 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 I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we're going to go through all these. We'll go through these for the first few packs just to see kind of what's in here. And I know the lighting is bad here. So, uh, you know, I apologize. Maybe it's too bright. Maybe do I need to turn the brightness down? I could do that. I think I can do that. Nope, I went the wrong way. So we turned the brightness down. I don't know if it actually worked that well, but holy shit. No, it did not. Damn, things are just not working, not working hot. Um, let's do a thing here where we fucking turn the exposure down a little bit because I think that will be good. I think it still needs to go down a bit, but it's better. I think it's better. Yeah, it's a little better. All right, this enchant enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three, and has ward two. Cost four. Ikor Drinker. Yeah, I'm sorry. The quality's not the best right now. I need to get another 4K camera there. I have one for my face, which I don't have on, and I didn't have time to switch it because, you know, searing barb. Um, actually, I'll look into these more. Sorry. Let's, 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 let's take our time a little bit. I apologize. I apologize. Ikor Drinker. 
uh, one one life link for one, um, and you can pay one. It's for one black. You can pay one black to uh, exile it from your graveyard and incubate two. Activate only as a sorcery. Create an incubator token with two plus one plus one counters on it, and uh, cost two to transform this artifact. It transforms into a zero zero Phyrexian artifact creature. Ooh, cool, cool. And then Searing Barb is a sorcery, cost uh, two colorless, one red. Searing Barb deals two damage to any target. If it's a creature, it can't block this turn, and it has Incubate 1. So same thing as the other one, just Incubate 1. Fara's Dispersal. The spell costs two less to cast if it targets an attacking creature, and it returns target creature to its owner's, owner's hand, and you surveil two, and that costs two colorless, Two and a blue. Two and a blue. Um, Serpent Blade Assailant. This costs two and a green. It has backup one. It is two one. So two one for three. Uh, it has backup one when this creature enters the battlefield. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. If that's another creature, it gains the following ability until end of turn and death touch. What is that? I mean, it gets death touch till end of... I think that means it gets death touch till end of turn. Another creature gets death touch till end of turn. Cyba Cryptomancer. Uh, it's a zero one for two that has flash and backup one, and it gets hexproof, so it can give something else hexproof with flash. Oh, that's a pretty cool card, actually. I like that. Because you can just, even though it costs two, and it's zero one for two, it's not like insane, but you get plus one on another creature and hexproof. So if someone wants to target it, you go, oh, flash on the stack. Good to go. Uh, angelic intervention, uh, one and a white. A target creature or planeswalker you control gains protection from colorless or from. Sorry, my brain or color of your choice until end of turn. If it's a creature, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. I need to get. I should switch this back, but it's okay. Alabasta host intercessor. Uh, it's a Phyrexian Samurai. Cost six. It's a three, four for six. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield and has plane cycling too. So you pay two, discard this card, search your library for a planes card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Okay, okay. Well, it seems pretty, pretty expensive, but you know, I don't play as much as some other folks do. Um, but yeah, we'll get there. Okay. This is a one colorless, a green, and a blue. Zero five. So zero five for three with flying and vigilance. And it gets plus one, plus zero for each transformed permanent you control. That'd be cool. It's pretty cheap. And if you start getting transformed stuff out, there are things that transform. It can, uh, can really do things. Norn's Inquisitor. When it enters the battlefield, incubate two, and whenever you, a permanent you control transforms into a Phyrexian, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay. Got some, got some stuff that works together here. I see, I see some, you know, I see how some of these can play out. A botanical Brawler. Uh, it's one, one white, one green. It's a zero, zero. Uh, it has trample, and it enters the battlefield with two plus one, plus one counters on it. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on another permanent you control, if it's the first time plus one plus one counters have been put on that permanent this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So you just get plus one counters for other things getting plus one plus one counters. Okay. Let's... Okay, okay. Okay, bonded herd beast. Any hits? Uh, this is our first one. We're going through kind of slow on the first. I know it's not like the greatest quality. That's why I'm trying to show each. But we're going to go through and we're going to start start pushing them out once we get through one. Just to see kind of what's there. Um, but the Bonded Head Beast. Oh, ooh, four and you can do a Phyrexian. You can pay life. You can pay two life or a red. But it looks like this one, Transform, can be something else. Uh, <laughs> menace, so seven, five Menace. This one is a four, five. And then you can pay to transform. Oh, we got a little sideways card. I don't know if any of these are good, but you know, it is sideways and it is a card. So I, I will take that, right? <laughs> this is 
Invasion of Flora. It's a battle card. This is my first time seeing these, the new new form of card. Battle Siege. Um, as it enters, choose an opponent to protect it. You and others can attack it. When it's defeated, exile it, then cast it transformed. What the fuck? I, my brain seems... I don't... Okay. But it destroy... When it enters the battlefield, choose one or both. Destroy all legendary creatures. Destroy all non-legendary creatures. And then on the back side, it's the Resolute Monarch. A 3-6 menace, menace death touch. Uh, whenever it attacks, remove all counters from up to one target permanent. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you haven't been dealt com if you haven't been dealt combat damage since your last turn, you draw a card and you lose one life. Okay. It's cool. New new things. Actually, I need to separate some stuff because I've been I've been uh Oh, I forgot. They they did March of the Machine. It's mom. That's funny. That's funny. It's mom. Okay. Then we got the Rada Coalition Warlord, Tranquil Cove. That's decent, right? I don't know. It's not that great, but you gain one life. Ender's Battlefield tapped. And then we have the Incubator token that turns into a Phyrexian. So it's a cool, cool arts, cool arts. Sorry that it's not um, super high quality. Don't have my full K on, but, you know, trying to make it trying to make it work all right let's get to the next one we'll go a little faster through this we got another incubator and then oh a negate there's a negate in here and all right siobhan branch burner let's just get to oh, we got another battle card invasion of dominaria this one is not a this one's a um an uncommon yeah apparently i am like i don't know what's going on with this like the problem is it's a 720p camera so it shouldn't be this bad but here it is i think it's i don't even know let me see if i can i mean i can try to make it better but it's just not one to it's just not it's just not hitting let's see Let's see if we can do this. Okay, well, we can leave that the same. Oh. Oh. Did that look, does that look better? Looks a little better. I think it's just trying to, like, put too much gain in there. So it's, like, being weird. We'll try that. I don't even know. Oh, that looks way better, I think. Ooh, Omnath, Locus of All. I feel like that's kind of a hit. I don't know how crazy it is, but that's a card I've heard of. If you would lose unspent mana, that mana becomes black instead. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card if it has three or more colored mana symbols in its mana cost. If you do, add three mana in any combination of its colors and put it into your hand. If you don't reveal it, Put it into your hand. Okay. Okay. Zada Hedron Grinder. And then we got our first hollow. And then a swamp. Hmm, wait. Okay, let's look at this. It's not too not too bent. It's a little dark, but but we got a holographic. And then the swamp looks pretty cool actually. It's a little dark too. Maybe I can turn up the brightness a little bit. See, that's the problem. Everything's like, I know we're, you know, this is very professional here. This is very professional. I haven't done cards in a while, and I used to use the 4K camera for the cards, but now I don't. Um, can I turn the brightness up a little bit? Ew, yuck. Okay, not doing that. Um, oh, I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Let's see if this works. Let 
Okay. That, how does that look? How does that look? Oh yeah, much brighter. Okay, perfect. Now let's start grinding. Let's start grinding through these bad boys. Okay, let's pull it back. Treasure token. Jungle hollow. That's a land. Looks like a land token in the back. Nazumi informant. Preening champion. Red cap heal slasher. Angelic intervention. Alabaster host intercessor. I can't speak. Um, but yeah, we're, we're out here. Fearless scald. Surge of salvation. Marshal of Zalfir. And then we have a invasion of Vryn. I, my brain is just not. I can't read today. I can't read today. And then we got Ayara, Widow of the Realm. And then a, and that's a, um, my brain's, again, brain just no worky today. But this is a showcase, I believe. Legend Elf Noble. Legend Elf Noble. And what are we looking for in this? I don't know what you can pull from this. Can you pull all the Jen Elish? I think we're looking for, you know, Jen Elish, Ren, all the, you know, all the Phyrexians, some of the combined cards. Um, and then I think we're also looking for swords. Swords. Swords of once and swords of future. Why not both? We have a knight token. We have dismal backwater. Let's get to the good stuff. You know, we want to look for the goods. All right, we're looking for the goods, the hits. All right, here we go. Invasion of Alara. Let's see another battle card. We'll see how those play into, into things. You know, I don't know what the, uh, how it's going to all work together, but we got a, Foil, sadly only a basic. Actually, this, I want to say this foil in common is actually a part of the, uh, I don't know if it's a commander set or what. It's M-U-L. I don't know what that stands for. Is that commander? Or is there different? I'm being stupid because this is like, these are part of different ones. They have different symbols and I just didn't look at them. But I don't know what MUL actually stands for. Maybe I should learn this stuff before, you know, going on stream with new product. But, you know, who am I to, <laughs> who might actually like think about things like that? Couldn't be me. I don't think. I don't think, and neither should you. Wait, is this a, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I see something weird. No, okay. It's just darker. The symbol is just darker. Um, I think we're good. I don't think we have any other. That's okay. Okay, we'll put these over here as I try to figure out what they are. Um, actually, we'll do like that, I guess. I don't, we're just putting them to the side as I figure out. Masters, oof, losers. Masters, losers. Um, yeah, so that's, those are the, the, the mule, the mule cards. Real mule hours. That's what I call it. Oh, fuck. They brought these stupid, mm. I hate those cards so much with a passion. Blossoming Sands, what a card. I, I don't know, like, don't ask. I get, like, what their purpose is because it's the flip card, whatever. But, like, it feels like a waste for, like, you know, you want, you're looking for, like, stuff you can play. And they're like, but would you like this? Oh, look, it's uh, Jeru and Hazaret. I probably really fucked that one up, but it's... It's two, two peoples, two peoples together. <laughs> this is what happens when you take someone who is just insanely tired. Oh, we got Renata called to the hunt, the masters of losers. Um, insanely tired and doesn't play. I collect and I have played, but like, I'm not like sitting there like, oh, this is going to be good in this format. Cause you know what? I just enjoy collecting and, you know, seeing the cards and kind of hearing about the story, that kind of stuff. That's fun. We got an Isla. Ooh. 
This is a cool Island. It's very cool Island. Let's just look. Oh, we got, I didn't mean to pull this one out first, but Lethil, the, the bounteous dawn. Nice. That's a unicorn with lifelink. Two, two unicorn lifelink. Beginning of each incept, if you gain life this turn, distribute up to that many plus one, plus one counters among any number of other target creatures. Damn. I will take that. I would use that. I have a deck that would really like that. All about gaining life and putting counters on creatures. All right, let's see what we get. So yeah, you get a you get a battle card every single invasion of Eldrain. Then into the fire, sorcery, sorcery. You hated that day. <laughs> you didn't. No, what? Look, life can't can eat. <laughs> the deck is fun. What do you mean? But Rob, what are the um? What are the hits? Like, what am I really looking for here? Like, I'm assuming the Phyrexians. I'm assuming Ren. But I don't know if there's any other... There's an Elemental. But I don't know if there's any other... Ooh, there's that cool island. I like that island a lot. Looks like we might have gotten something good. Actually, I think we got something decent in this one. And I know that sounds weird to say. I'm going to pull this out early. We got a Foil Thunderhead Squadron. But let's... Look at this. Okay. Grafted Butcher. We may, it may not be good, but it looks like it would be. Woo. Okay. That seems pretty decent. I, yeah, I've heard Omnath is good, but this is a cool art. I like the art on this set, man. We got Garuda, Doom of Depth. 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 I can't say that right now. My lips are chapped. I'm tired. And I probably f mess up saying that anyway. Depths, 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 depths. I, I feel like now I'm making it worse. Try like every time I try to say it, it just gets worse and worse. But we got a Masters of Losers, a Demon Kraken. Nice. We got a lot to go through, so we're gonna we're gonna try to try to push on this because we got. Like I said we got a lot. Okay, we got another. Incubator, a Blossoming Sands. Then there's the commons. We're going to have a lot of commons, and we are going to just... Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe I haven't been paying attention. I probably put commons in the uncommon slot. Oh, no. Archpriest. Archpriest of Shadows. And Yargul. Glutton of Urborg. You can yargle on these. It's a 9-3 for 5? What the hell? That's <laughs> crazy card. I don't know if it's that good, but a 9-3 for 5, if you're able to give it, I don't know, something. It might be cool. It would give it some. Looks like we got our first. No, I'm just kidding. I hate that card. And a swamp, a kind of... Not as good as the other one. Not a full art. Not a full art. More like a full fart swamp. Got him. All right. Yeah, I think I have been putting the wrong thing in. Here we go. We got the Invasion of Kaldheim. Siege. Some really cool arts on the, uh, the battle cards. Oh, Yargle and... Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I saw that. Yargle and Multani. Card is an 18-6. Jesus. Uh, and then Rona. Shieldred's Faithful. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. So is this, is this either going to... Do they even do... I don't think they do. I don't... Scoured Baron. So, like, what I'm talking to myself about is do they... Um, Oh, shoop. I think we got a gen. I think we got a gen. I think we just got a gen. I, I, it looks like a pretty decent one, too. I'm going to... I could be wrong, but I believe that was a Jenny boy. Um, let's... <laughs> but they don't do uh, the list cards in draft packs, do they? I don't know if they do, but we got... Polychronos Reborn. 
four five with reach and you can transform it into a six six but we are oh it's not a gen i thought it was for some reason why did my brain think that was a gin but we got brutaclad telcoy engineer okay, we'll do this first and then you got the back side when he flippy flips some cool art this is like art from the last set very similar to the style they had i really like this style actually but there we go creature tokens you control have haste hmm. you have combat on your turn create a two one uh phyrexian mirror artifact creature token you may cho choose a token you control if you do each other token you control becomes a copy of that token cool cool beans those beans are quite cool if you ask me hmm yes cool um all right we have a thopter and uh oh mm, oops oops there's another island it's pretty cool i keep accidentally looking at the back card it looks like it's gonna be a cool card back there i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys i'm gonna keep it a stack um i don't know why i'm talking like that that's not really i mean i say it but it's not it don't sound right when i say it just don't sound right no may right all right, we got Inga and Asika. Ooh. I feel like Asika's Chariot, that card was fucking used a bunch in Arena. Creatures you control have Vigilance and tap to add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell. Whoa, that's such a cool card. I, like, I don't know if it's good or not, but just the way this card looks is so cool. What is this? Modi? Modi? Celebrant of Bounty with Cascade, the 3 1. Spells you cast with mana value 6 or greater have Cascade. That's a pretty cool. I just like the art on that. I like the way that they did that. And then we have another. We have a. Ooh. That seems pretty decent. We actually have no. Um, this is a side note. This is Kogla and Yadaro. Yadaro? Um, foil. So this is our first foil rare. We don't have any uh, mythics yet, but that's pretty cool. It's a full art foil rare. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, choose one. It gains trample and haste until end of turn, or it fights target creature you don't control. And it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Costs two colorless, two red, two green. And you can pay four or two colors, one red, one green, uh, to discard it and destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. Shuffle it back into your library from your graveyard, then draw a card. So it's pretty cool. Has some other uses it can do. Um, but yeah, so that's 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 really cool. I love the the art on this set. There, it's like they are combining. I mean, I guess the point is probably the point, but they're combining arts from like all the sets in ways but i think they're doing it in really cool ways so there's a knight and then a tranquil cove don't ask why i'm putting the tranquil cove like the lands in here that i know this is lands but i like this being basic lands and these being in the other lands maybe i should put them in a different stack um i could be doing it all wrong but it is the way i'm doing it and we have the invasion of feros right there like I said, the art in this is nice. It's real nice. And then Valduk, Keeper of the Flame. Where does he keep it? Where does he keep the flame? That's my question. Where does this boy keep the flame? Is it Hillcrest? That's a horrible joke, and I'm sorry. I knew it was a bad joke when I said it. Can't take it back now. Bloodfell Caves. All right. Looks like we got another... Another, you know, card with art on it. You know, we got cards with art. That's, you know, where you're getting here is very serious, very knowledgeable about um, the cards and everything. There's an Invasion of Kaldheim. I, I love these. I, I hope, I don't know how much the battle cards are going to be played. But we get our first Mythic. I, you know. I look. I can't complain about Vorinclex. Trample. But that's our first mythic, you know? I'm happy about that. I am happy about the first mythic. Don't know if it's worth anything. It might not be, but you know what? It's like eight bucks right now. 
is what it looks like. That might drop a little bit. But this is a cool card. Vorinclex. I guess you're going in this because I have this all in like kind of its own pot. I don't know. Feels like this should be like. Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. All right. Sorry. I know I'm. Yeah, this is very. Uh, very organized. I'm really doing great here. I know, I know what I'm doing and, and no one can tell me otherwise. Okay. Um, kind of putting the rares and better in a different pile in this subset that's in this set. I don't know how it works. Um, but hey, Vorinclex, Trample. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of any type that land produce. Is that not how it works? Whenever an opponent taps a land for mana, that land doesn't untap during its next untap stage. Damn. So do you add, is it like an extra mana whenever you tap? So you just add extra mana or is it just saying, oh no, your mana works the exact same. I don't know. We got a forest and a treasure. Let's get through the commons. I know we could have looked at more commons, but people are going to see them all the time. People are going to see them. We just want the juicy juice. The juicy juice. Voldaren Thrill Seeker. A 1 1 for 3, but it has backup 2, and you can pay 1 to sacrifice this creature and deal damage equal to its power to any target. Okay. Oh, I like this. Is like the. Um, oh, we got Finn the Fang Bearer. Nice. Foil Finn the Fang Bearer. I like that one. Death Touch. Creature you control with Death Touch, it gets two poison counters. I like that. I like that. Okay. And then this one looks like the um oh, what were they called? Oh, what set is that? Why can't I think of my brain's not working? Um the masteries or mas what I don't know why I can't think of what those are called. Oh man. I'm sorry, my throat, I'm, I've been up all day talking, inventions, I knew it was something, I like, I always like the way those look, but yeah, I like how they did, like, arts from all the sets, and, you know, try to bring them all together, we got another treasure token, cool looking treasure token, let's just get through, I'm surprised you're still up, what time, do you, do you close tomorrow? Streetwise Negotiator. Price line negotiator. We got invasion of Segovia. Fun. How do you? I I know you love closing Segovia. And then another emoji. It's an emote. Is that the guy from Fortnite? Which one of these is the guy from Fortnite? Down to hit a pre-release. Down to hit a pre-release. What kind of pre-release you hitting? Cause I'm actually, uh, I fly out to Indy on Saturday. So tomorrow I'm hit, down to hit. <laughs> if that's what you mean. Oh, yo. Like, I don't know if I just think that's badass, but this swamp is like, to me, this swamp is insane. I fucking love this swamp. What? Yo, that's awesome. That's, I, oh, look, hey, wow, we have someone in the, oh, we got Quinde, Pride of Femeref, 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 tell me you fly out, <laughs> uh, 9 a.m., I know, I'm the worst, I fly out at 9 a.m., I don't even, yeah, I fly out at 9 a.m., and I don't get to Indianapolis till 9 p.m., it's gonna be, a real shit show. Tribute to the world tree. But I do need to talk to you. Yeah, she, but I need to talk to you about some exciting stuff. I kind of sent it to you in the text, but you didn't acknowledge it. So I don't know if you like read it. If you read it on Reddit. But, um, but you know, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Is this going to be another one of those little flip? It's because I hate. Yeah, that's fair. Um, most people do. Uh, once they get to know me a little bit, they're like, oh, this guy's fucking... This guy sucks. Sucks ass. And not in a good way. 
Also, you didn't go to my soccer game last weekend, even though you live right next to where I played. And then I realized that some of my friends live there too. Or friends, I don't know. Ooh, Realm Breaker, the invasion tree. That's some cool. Okay, one sec. Realm, that's a cool, that's cool art. And then we got an Umori. You were there tonight. What were you doing there? <laughs> nice. Yeah, we played at the school and like, that's such cool art. And um, it's a nice field that, that they played at. But, um, but yeah. Why? I don't think, aren't you not allowed to be near uh, that? Never mind. No. <laughs> Never mind, I won't I won't continue on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna stop before I <laughs> say something too too stupid right now. Um okay. Pile on Pile on Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> what up? Pile on and then Jury. Jury? Master of the review. I don't see the problem is I know everybody that's like played forever knows how to pronounce these things. I have not. Now I got people to sign a petition. Ah, oh, sweet. So they let you back near the park. See, I have two people in here that aren't allowed within a hundred feet of schools. <laughs> and one works at one. <laughs> An island. How you doing, Michael? Shut the hell up. Got his ass. You skinny albino. I'll skinny albino you. Okay. Look, you're just jealous. They hate us because they ain't us. You know what I mean? They hate us because they ain't us. We got Ayara, widow of the realm. She was married to the realm, but the realm died. And then we got Dinah, Dina, Dina, soul steeper. Steep. Real steep with it. Cards. Packs. Go to dogehype.com. I can't believe. People are still do that shit like, like anyone actually cares about what they're typing with the bots. Dismal black backwater. Dismal backwater. Jesus. You're going to send a clip of what I just did to someone? Oh, no. I don't know if legally am I allowed to watch that. In, in league? In legally? Legally, literally, literally. Um, in game, of course. Grafted butcher, and then another Inga non foil this time. Okay, come on, we need a banger. We need an absolute like we know it's a banger, banger. And we're gonna get it in the next three packs. We're getting the banger of all bangers. It's another, you know, it's a good swamp. The swamps are. All, I feel like the swamps they do pretty good at. Getting art for whoa, Yorion Sky Nomad. <laughs> that one's banned, right? Is it unbanned now? <laughs> Wasn't it banned? Or am I thinking of something else? Uh, <laughs> could be thinking of something else. Um, the Tiller of Flesh, and we have the Knight Errant of Eos. Of Eos. All right. What do we got next? What we, what we got next, eh? I'm playing with some cards, eh? That's what I do. This planes is pretty cool. Actually, I like this planes a lot. The the full art lands on this are are actually really nice. I can't can't complain. I like the floating stuff. I, like, yeah, I don't know. I like I like some of these lands. Um, but we're gonna get through. We got Priceline Negotiator. Priceline Negotiator. Is this a... Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. This is a Mythic. I did not realize it was a Mythic. We might have pulled another Mythic earlier. We have the Invasion of Innistrad. Is a Mythic. When Invasion of Innistrad enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets minus 13, minus 13 until end of turn. So why? Is Discord 
giving me notifications when it knows I am streaming. What the hell's what you do you not know what stream mode is? Um, I might. Okay, this is rare, rare. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't miss any mythics from earlier. That would be our first, my second mythic pull. First non foil. No, no, that's our first mythic pull. Sorry, I don't know why I thought second, but first mythic pull. That seems pretty. That's pretty rough so far. I'm not gonna show it on stream. You know why? Because I am going to finish this and go straight to fucking bed probably, because I am. Your boy is is tired. The wind scar crag. And then we have common, uncommons with one common in there. Then we have guardian of Girapa. Girapa? Girap? Girapa? The guardian of the grip. You know what I'm saying? They got that grip. They, they be gripping. How many packs do you have in there? Uh, we had 90 packs total. Um, and then Daxos, blessed by the sun. Counting at least 20. Yeah, it, you're not wrong. It is at least 20 packs. But we had 15 stacks of 6 and then 5 stacks of 18. Yeah, I'm opening all 90 today. This pre-release actually officially comes out tomorrow. Don't tell anyone. Kidding. Um, so you can purchase these tomorrow. Pre-release packs, pre-release stuff is tomorrow. Um, we are here opening today. And then we got another Guardian. Double back-to-back -back Guardian. And then Squee. We got Squee the Immortal. Yeah. You may cast him from your graveyard or from exile. He can always come back. Let's go, Squee. Love Squee. Love Squee. Two, one for three. That just doesn't matter. Oh, you want to get rid of him? You want to exile him? Guess what? He does not give a flying fuck that he's exiled. Ooh, we got a foil mountain. Did not mean to grab it, but I keep doing it. But we got a foil mountain. It's a pretty cool mountain. When are we getting God of War content? I don't know, man. Maybe never. We may never get it. Sorry, gotta got a sext. I mean a text. Um was not a sext. We getting No, it is good. I just I like I need to figure out the PlayStation stuff because it was being weird. Alright, into the fire. And then we got Tesa Karlov, a human advisor. If a creature, if a creature dying causes a triggered permanent, uh, a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Creature tokens you control have vigilance and life link. Ooh, tasty. Two for like six months on my PC. Only play five hours. I can't just never play. Well, no, I want to play. It's just like the last time I tried to do it, my PlayStation wouldn't show up. Like I couldn't get the screen to show up. Um, so I couldn't actually play it and then I just, and then I'm going to be out of town for two weeks. So won't do any of that. Oh, Ren and, and realm breaker emblem. Love to see it. Forest. It's a cool forest. This kind of reminds me of streets in new Capenna. I think that's what it's going for. I'm guessing that's what it looks like. It's, it's a streets in new Capenna land. Um, new Capenna. No Nintendo. Um, boarding Broodlord has Convoke, which I actually don't know what Convoke does. I'm sure that it, it's a thing that's been around for a while. Flying, when it enters the battlefield, search your library for a card. Uh, exile it face down, then shuffle for as long as that card remains exiled. You may play it. Spells you cast from exile have Convoke. Okay. Then we got Valdo, Keeper of the Flame. Still don't know where he's keeping that flame. Probably in his meat wallet. I bet that's where he keeps that flame. That's where I would keep it. That's where I would keep it. All right, let's... This one did not want to open. It just, like, ripped. Just ripped. All right, got to grip it and rip it. That's, that's what I like to say. Grip and rip. Yep. We got another incubator. A rugged highlands. Then we get, you know, we're going through here. 
Glistening Dawn. Come on, we need some more mythics. And then we got Ferja. Ferja, Judge of Valor. Before Flying Lifelink. Did I get downgraded or is it just this version is, it probably is a different version. Because I thought Ferja was, no, maybe. Maybe it's always been an uncommon. I, for some reason I thought it was a, a rare, but I don't know, man. It's been a while. I think I have one. This is an island. Cool, cool is land. Look at this. We're just scooping through. We're trying to scoop and poop through this. Get to the other side. There's Heliod. Nice. Can't be mad at Heliod. The Radiant Dawn. Let's just look at... Let's take a closer look at Heliod, the Radiant Dawn. Don't look at my messed up fingers. I don't know if they're messed up. Now I'm getting self... And then Horobi. Death's Whale. I almost said Wall, but it's Death's Whale. Hmm. Cool. Double rare pack. But oh, still, we're looking for more mythics. We're looking for those. We're looking for the big boy mythics. You know what I'm talking about. We want the big boy mythics. There's a treasure. There's a mountain. We want the big boy mythics. Big. Oh, there we go. We got Croxa and Kunaros. Vigilance, Menace, Lifelink. Whenever Croxa and Kunaros enters the battlefield or attacks, you may exile five cards from your graveyard. When you do, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. There we go. Another mythic there. That's one of the... I don't know if it's technically a big boy mythic, but it's a cool one. It's, you know, two things. Uh, Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive. And then a Temporal Cleansing Foil. Foils seem pretty good. They don't look to be, at least these ones don't seem to be bending, you know? So, but I know, I feel like the ones in sets don't show bending as much as like the ones from Secret Layers, but you never know. You never know. Things bend. Swiftwater Cliffs. We got so many packs to get through. It's already almost 1030. I'm ready for bed. I've been ready for bed. Oh, mythic. Two mythics in a row. We got Zergo and Aju... Aj Ajutai? 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 Legendary creature or dragon. It's cool art on that too. Look at that bad boy. And then another Rona, Shieldred's Faithful. So look at that. Told you we were getting some mythic soon. I told you. I didn't. I done told you. I don't know why you didn't listen to me because I done told you. All right. Let's see what we got next. A forest, the streets of New Capenna Forest. I'm sure the other ones have like really like people can look at it and be like, oh yeah, that's from this X set. Oh, another. The different boring clicks? Okay. Hey, tr three mythics, back to back to back mythics in a row. Okay. Well, we got a, this one's a big boy one, boring clicks. All right. Can't be mad at that. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for up to two forest cards. Uh, reveal them. And wait, let me, I want to look at something actually. Sorry, I'm being, reveal them, put them into your hand and then shuffle. Six, six for five. And then we got a Ayara first of the Lockwith. And then, oh, this switches to a, the gray, the grand evolution. Mill 10 cards, put up the two creature cards from among the milled cards in, onto the battlefield. Jeez. Distribute seven plus one plus one counters among any number of creature or target creatures you control until end of turn. Creatures you control gain, pay one. This creature fights target creature you don't control. Jeez. How much does it cost? It costs eight to exile it and return it transformed. And then it comes back when you... That's, that's pretty good. I don't know how like it's going to be in... Like just in the casual space. Um... I want to see, how do you, why, why, 
I don't know how the set works. You know what I mean? Because it's like it's the master, the other master of losers set inside with a different symbol. I don't know if that's listed somewhere other than I think it is. But hey, that's three mythics in a row. I told you. You know, we're just going to get a fourth because why the fuck not? Technically, we had got another mythic, but it was in the other set. No main set mythic. And then we just pull a bunch of main set mythics. Um, treasure token and a forest. Then we get to... A, I'm not joking. That's mythic times four. Thalia and the Gitrog monster. First strike death touch 4-4. Four, four. You can play an additional land on each of your turns. Creatures and nine basic lands. Your opponent's control enter the battlefield tap. When Thalia and the Gitrog, Gitrog, Gitrog monster attacks, sacrifice a creature or land, then draw a card. That is another mythic right there. Jeez, we had nothing. And then it's like another Rona. Forest and the Rona. That, I guess, is the combination for mythics. But that's four. That's back to back to back to back to back mythics. So some, that would have been, that would have been insane. Whoever got those. No, nah, well, yeah, no, would have been as insane because of the way they flopped out uh, with how many are left. But you know how we do. All right, let's, let's continue. Let's continue. No, we didn't get it five in a row. But we got Polychronos Reborn and then Zada Hedron Grinder. They'd be grinding on that Hedron. Hedron. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly. Still, the I this this swamp is I love this swamp. I I I'd love it. I don't even look like a swamp, but I love it. I don't care. I don't care that it doesn't necessarily look like a swamp, but we have city on fire. That's an expensive ass enchantment. Your creatures can help cast the spell. Each creature you tap while casting the spell is pays for one. Oh, cool. And then we got fire song and sun speaker. And then a foil halo charge scab. And you get something to drink. Thirsty. Drinking that liquid death water. A lot of that stuff. Keeps you hydrated. Tastes pretty good in the flavored ones. We got an emblem for Teferi's talent. We got two emblems in this opening so far. Uh, sometimes emblems can be decent, decent. Um, but let's see what kind of stuff we get here. Let's see what kind of transcendent message. You can get expensive and you can draw X cards. And then Rada, Coalition Warlord. All right, we are two fifths of the way done. Let's continue. On an elemental and then a scoured barons. Let's oh okay. We are starting to get it down. We're starting to get it down. Seeing an Instagram short that describes your life. Realm breaker the end. I'll look at it after, dude. I'm streaming, dude. Oh hoo, 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 hoo. Ooh, that's a mythic right there. It's nun smoking weed. Hell yeah. I knew what you were trying to say. I got you. But that is a, that's a good card. Flying Vigilance. Well, I don't know if it's as good in this, but that's a cool, like, Atrax is normally a pretty, pretty decent card. From what I know, Atrax is normally a decent card. Let me, let me, I can't, I can't even look it up. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, <laughs> perfect, I didn't. Didn't want to look it up anyways. Fucking wants to look that shit up. Not me. Not me. No, we're gonna figure we'll we'll see if we can we'll start opening, but we'll keep opening, but Huh.
Let's see if there's anything that talks about the CODs we have opened yet. Um, ba -ba -ba. Sorry, I'm looking to see if Yeah, Praetor's... Wait. No shot. Oh, that's not... That's foil. Um, I'm looking... I'm trying to look it up so I can get the proper... There we go. Multiverse Legends. That's what I was trying to get to. The Multiverse Legends. Okay? But, um... The Atraxa non... Do they have a non-foil version? Because I don't have a foil version. Well, I don't... I don't have... The Halo foil version. I, it's not even, I'm not even playing Halo. That's like a $30 card. That's actually decent. That's a decent, decent pull, decent pull. Um, okay, sorry. I got distracted. The planes. I like the art on, on a lot of these. I know I've said that before, and I'll say it again. You can't stop me. Can't stop. Will not stop. There's Galta and Mavrin. And then we got Tetsuko Umazawa and Halo Forger. What'd I say? I don't have Halo. This isn't Halo. This is Magic Le Gathering. Okay. It's French. It's the French version of Magic. Okay, Rugged Highlands and this, the dual, dual, duality of man. Hurricane Awakening. Oh, that's a mythic. That's a mythic. That's Invasion of New Phyrexia. When Invasion of New Phyrexia enters the battlefield, create X22 two, two white and blue knight creature tokens with vigilance. Wow. And then it has Teferi on the back. How do you get Teferi? What is it again? So as Siege enters, choose an opponent to protect it. You and others can attack it when it's defeated, exile. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So you choose someone else to protect it, and then you just try to attack that, and it has to be six, and once you get six and it's destroyed, then it does the other thing. And then we got Timuret chosen from death. I feel like we're doing pretty good. I don't know, like I said, I don't know what's all like amazing on this. Um, and we could be doing horrible, but I know Atrax is good. I know Vornclex is good. I know, you know. Mythics are almost, well, not always good, but there's, you know, never be that mad with Mythics. Another island. I want more of those swamps. Tiller of Flesh. And we got the invasion of Gobacon. Gobacon? Gobacon? I don't even know, man. I feel like I'm saying it all wrong. And then another fucking... Rona, get out of here. You, like, I get, like... It's like one slot you can be in, and you're always there. Come on, Rona. Another one of the two-sider things that I hate so much. And then we continue. We continue. We pile on. We pile on the cards. And then we got Lurus of the Dream Den. I like that card. That's a cool card. And the art is really good from this. Lurus of the Dream Den. That is Lurus. He is of the Den of Dreams. The Field of Dreams. Ooh, that's a different, uh, we got a warrior, but this is a different planes than I've seen before. That's a cool planes. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, we got Tribute to the World Tree, the Yargle, and a Flywheel Racer. Vroom, vroom. Let's go. Call me Lightning McQueen. Call me Speed Racer. I'll give you that initial D. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy gets it. Oh, whoa. That's a crazy looking forest. Can't really tell what's going on in it, but it's a crazy looking forest. I'm sure someone can tell, but I am not the person that can tell. I can't tell a lot. All right, we got the Chrome Host Sea Shark. Hell yeah. And then Shana, 
Sissy's legacy. Sissy's legacy. Legacy. Whenever you cast an on creature spell, you can be X for X spells manifest. Dang. Okay. There's the these are hey. If there's one thing the that I could tell you about this set is there are some cards in the set. There are cards in the set. Um that's about all I can tell you. Ooh. Erent and Giada. Giada? Giada? She got a pistol. She get him with the blicky. Look at her. She goes, You want the blicky? Get him with the blicky. Uh Shana. And then well, there's the uh we t I just said it earlier. Uh <laughs> Does that have print lines in it? It looks like that has some really bad print lines. Like, not that it matters, but you can't really tell in the... Oh, maybe you can. But there's some bad print lines. But we got SRAM, Senior Edificer. Whenever you cast an aura, equipment, or vehicle spell, draw a card. That's pretty dope. That's pretty... That's, that's quite nice, if you ask me. That is quite nice. Quite nice, yes. Yes, yes, quite nice. Uh, trying to move things around so it looks a little better, but we're on to the next one. We got cards on cards on cards. There's a zombie token. I didn't even notice that. Did not mean to do that, but we did. Well, Judith, the Scourge, diva. What a diva. What a diva. I've been such a diva. You're supposed to be fighting, not diva. And then we got Ayara. Widow of the Realm, another the widow. From the widow to the wall. <laughs> I'm losing it. It feels like I'm on my 24 hour stream with how tired I feel. For no reason. All right, let's just make sure that I don't skip any here. Gotta try to keep them. And we got Progenator. Exarch, Exarch, oh my gosh. And then we got another Finn the Fang Bearer. And then we got a Mirren Bane Splitter. Is that like the, the yeah, that is the, the normal Finn. Finny boy. Finster. The Finster. That's what we, what I call him. The Finster. There's a swamp. Not the cool swamp. I mean, it's not a bad swamp, but it's not the cool swamp, you know? It'd be the cool swamp. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Then we got Jeru, the Jeru and Hazaret. And then Dino, Soul Steeper. Should be steeping those souls. Like they're tea. Steeping them, right? You steep tea, right? That's what it's called when you put the, when you tea bag it. You let the tea bag stay in there for a little bit, it steeps. Um, we got another, was it planes? I think we got another one of those, the arts from like the previous set. Um, could be wrong though. It looks like it though. All right. Let's see what we got. We got a invasion of Gobakan, Gobakan, and then a Vorin Klex, another Vorn. Didn't we already get one of these? I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I'm pretty sure we got this exact, did we? Did we we've pulled three Vorns. Yeah, we pulled three Vorns. Two of that kind, two of the uh, mass multiversal legends, and um, one of the from the main set. So, okay. Hey, you know what? I'm, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front. I'm not complaining. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Why am I? I mean, I talk like that sometimes, but not like as much as. I don't, like I don't know. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get into all that. Um, Breach the Multiverse. And then another Umori, the Collector. And then a Foil th Thornwood Falls. I think we got two of these Umori, the Collectors, too. I'm going to try to put it with the other one. Beautiful art. Beautiful art. I can't complain. The art is fantastic. Because it's like it's like bringing together all the arts from all the sets. I really I really do enjoy that. It makes it lets you like take a walk through. Uh, 
I was going to say history, but enough about history. What about her story? You know? That's what we need to take a walk through. Her story. Um, Scoured Barons. Okay. We got the Tangled Skyline. And then the Glistening Dawn. And then a Yargle. And then a Foil Rona, Herald of Invasion. I like this Rona better than the other one. I can tell you that much. Tired of that other Rona. This Rona can come through. That is a rare foil rare foil rare we'll take a foil rare not as common as we would like swift water cliffs swift water cliffs all right joyful all right let's see what we got here we got invasion of Acoria. cool art for Acoria. all right what do we got in the next we got Raph, Weatherlight Stalwart. He's giving me stalwarts. Oh, we're over halfway done. I think we've been past the halfway point for a minute now, but I did not notice until just now. We got an elemental and an island. And then we get to get past the commons. Get past the uncommons. And then we got the Voldaren Thrill Seeker. And then... Renata called to the hunt. And then a foil Rona that I hate seeing. Thank you, Rona. Thanks for coming back. And foil this time. I really appreciate it. You really, really make me feel good. Really appreciate you. Tranquil Co. Ba -da -da. All right. We are in there like swimwear and we are getting it done. And then we get a we get an Ura, Ura Brass. Did I already get one of these? Or did I get a, a Vorn? Vorn, okay, so we got, now we got the Ura Brask, another Mythic, another Praetor, and then an Iger, the Freezing Flame. But that's not, that's decent. Ow. Just punched my microphone. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Let's get these open. It seems pretty easy to open these. Sometimes some of the sets are not zombie. I did get a zombie token before. Let's take a closer look. It's a cool looking token. Um, but you know, we're we're just we're just powering through. I know the quality isn't great. Um, we'll try to up that for the next one, but it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Ozolith, the shattered spire. And then we got Brutaclad, the Telcor Engineer, and then a Serpent Blade Assailant. Look at Brutaclad. Boom, Bombaclad, Bombaclad. I don't know why that Brutaclad reminds me of that. Like, I think it's just the way it kind of comes off the tongue. But I'm also stupid, so, you know, who knows? If I'm the only one that thinks like that, probably is more backwater. Omen Hawker. We got tribute to the world tree again. And then a Timoret chosen from death. I just threw it really damaging these cards, you know, really taking care of the cards. I'll take care of them. Keep hitting my microphone trying to throw away. The packs. There's a forest. All right. Then we have. Yeah. And then. Knight Errant of Eos. And then we got another. Temerit. Temerit. T and Temerit. We're not even going to look at it. We're not even going to look at it anymore. We're not even going to look at it. I know. People are probably seeing. Ooh. Whoa. That's cool. We got First Mate Ragavan token. I don't know if it's going to be worth anything, but that's really cool that there's a, a token that's Ragavan token. I don't... <laughs> that's so weird. I haven't seen... I'm sure there's a card that makes that make sense. And everyone knows it but me. But, you know. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Ah. 
All right, we got an invasion of Akoria. And then a Ferja. And then an invasion of Muraganda. Muraganda? Muraganda? Marangda? Nah, it's Muraganda. I'm going to say it's Muraganda. If I'm saying these wrong, comment below. Tell me how wrong I am and how much you hate me. Uh, but if there's any cards that you're excited to pull, if there's anything you know you think I should I should know about this set or upcoming sets, because I do like I know it probably seems like I don't care about this at all. I do. I do enjoy I, I enjoy the collecting aspects. I enjoy I do play a little bit, not as much like seriously, but it's you know try to have some fun with it. Oh, we got Croxa and Kunaros again, and a Yargle. Um, so we got another another mythic. Where's Kunaros at? Put him up. Got those two. Let's go. But yeah, no. If you see this and you're like, yo, what is this guy smoking? Cracking? I go, no. Smoking that life pack. But no, just let me know. Just let me know, like, why you got into it. You know, like, I don't know. Just anything you feel like you want to share. Share it with the class underneath. I'll probably reply to most of it because I don't get very many comments. So I get a lot of crap ton of comments i'm gonna be replying forever um but that's okay all right we got the we got Aaron and gata edent with the blicky i think gata is an angel right or is it yeah gata is an angel unless gata has the blicky and is an angel we got rayav master smith and then a foil quintorius law master i haven't seen this one yet that's an elephant boy. That's an elephant boy. Elephant cleric. 3-5 vigilance for 5. Beginning of your end step. Exile target non-creature non-land card from your graveyard. Create a 3-2. Oh, okay. Not right, cool. Uh, wind scarred crag. Ba ba ba. Bow bow bow. Alright, we got the thrill seeker again. We keep getting, she's really seeking those thrills. And we got Daxos, Blessed by the Sun, and then a Timberland, Timberland Ancient. He's wearing his Tims right now. Wearing his Tims. I'm going to split this up, I think. I know it sounds weird, but I'm tired of the stack getting so high. So I'm going to split the commons up because I can. That's really it. That's the only reason. Because I can do that. I have all the power here. And you currently have none. Blood Feathers Phoenix. And then Renata called to the hunt. Blood Feathers Blood Feather Phoenix can't block. It's a 2 2 flyer for two. Whenever it's a sorcery spell you control, you may pay one. If you do, you can turn it from your graveyard to the battlefield against haste. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. That's cool. Deal damage, pay one. You get it back, and it's a flying haste for that turn. We got a vampire token. An island. Okay, boom, boom. Oh, hold up. I did not mean to go that far. Give me a sec here. Hold up. Whoa. Uh, we got a double mythic. Oh, my God. Wait, hold, uh, hold the phone. I got a... <laughs> Excuse me. We got the invasion of Tark here. Mythic. Feels like that's really hard to read and not great, but we're it's gonna we're gonna go with it anyways because that is a mythic. And then we got <laughs> Elish Norn. Oh, Grand Cenobite, 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 Grand Cenobun. Uh, it's a t it's only twelve dollars, but hey, that's a that's an Elish Norn. You'd love to see that. Look, I can't complain about... We're getting all the Praetors. I used to Praetor times like this. I, that doesn't that make sense. Instead of pray four times like this, I used to Praetor. We got a Monk token. We got a Tranquil Cove. But holy crap. We're getting, every, we're getting not everything, but we're getting some good stuff here. In my opinion, we got the ancient Imperiosaur. We got a Rona. And then we got a foil hermit. 
the not vault the not vault hermit hermit he don't like people he don't like people he just wants to be by himself brother all right let's see we got the talent emblem i think we already had one of those we got another one um and then we are going to get these pushed to the right spot you know what i'm saying and we got the chrome host seed shark the valdo keeper of the flame and then expedition lookout i don't know what we're looking out for but oh sorry i'm moving my mic around it probably sounds horrible but i got tired of it where it was and now it's in a different spot so you okay this one does not want to open <laughs> I was like, maybe I can show it off more and like actually put it in so it's easier to see like me opening the stuff. Soldier token. Thornwood Falls. Boom. Completed Huntmaster. And then we got Inga and Asika. And then we got Atris, Oracle of Half Truths. What is the Half Truths? Mm, no one knows. Or do they? Someone might know, and they might not. We got another one of those bad boys. The Windscarred Crag. Then we go... I want to drop everything. And then we got, boom, Invasion of Alara. Invasion of Alara. And Jerry, Master of Review. He's the jury and the judge and the executioner. And he reviews your crimes. That's what the backstory I gave to him. Another first mate ragavan. It's cool. Another island. And we get to here and we say the deep root wayfinder. And then the Tetsuko. And then foil jury. The jury's still out on that one. I'm going to be honest. The jury's still out on that one. It's probably not pronounced that way. I'm sure there's people... If, if you've gotten to this point and you haven't already yelled at me in the comments, this is bullshit. I hate these. I hate these. Get these cards out of my... Get, get that corn out of my face. Get that corn out of my face. All right. Another Urbrask. Hey, you know what? And then we get Obosh. The oh my gosh! Wait, hold up. Let me do this. Let me show this Urbrask off. I'm gonna put it down. But look at these. Look at that art. That is beautiful right there. Just beautiful art. I don't know if the card's any good, but we got double Urbrask. We got triple Vornclaxes. We got an Elish Norn. We're just looking for a Jen and a Shieldred at this point. But, you know, we're, we're almost four-fifths of the way done. And we are cooking with fire. We're popping like grease. Ooh, yes. Let's go. Sword of Once and Future. That's back-to-back -back mythics. Let's look at this. Let's look at this a little closer. This one gets you... Plus two, plus two, protection from blue and black. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, surveil two. Then you can cast an instant sorcery spell with mana value two or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. Hell to the yeah, brother. And then a... F Ooh, wait, hold up. Hitagetsu and... Kari, Kari, Kari? Flying Ogre Demon Dragon. But that's a foil rare right there. Can't be mad at that. And I like how they did the, the art like on the set that it's from. You know, Kamigawa. Really cool. Warrior Token. Island. Okay. Arch Priest of Shadows, and then a Thalia, Guardian of Throbbing. You know, they'd be throbbing right there. I'd be throbbing all the time. One sec. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Corey. Corey. Okay. We back. We're back. We're back. We're back. All right. Okay. I know when I open it and it looks like this that we're going to get one of the, the double sided token cards. Yep. And then we get a uh, backwater. Okay. I'm going to start putting things alternating piles, I guess. Come on. Ooh, Kongla and Yadaro. We got an actual non-foil version of that one. We only had a foil one of that. That's a cool... The art's so... The arts. There's so many cool arts in these sets. I cannot complain. Just be... Just be so cool. Bring a tear to my eye. We got the... Spirit token, Blossoming Sands. I know I said I was going to alternate, but I'm not alternating this time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Ayara. Oh, wait. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ayara, Widow of the Realm. And then we got a Yorian, Sky Nomad. And then we got a foil. Oh, is that a foil mythic? That's a foil mythic. Invasion of... Invasion of print errors. But... Invasion of Tarkir, not like a bad error, just the, uh, just like a, looks like someone scratched it. Well, that's a foil mythic. Only costs two. And it's five to destroy, and then it becomes a four, four flying trample. Whenever dragon control attacks, it deals two damage to any target. Oh, shit. Okay. That is our first. First and only, so far, foil mythic. We cannot complain. We begin. We've been getting some decent, decent, decent pulls. Decent pulls. A forest. Run, forest, run. All right, now I'm putting this in this pile. There we go. See that? Just gotta, just gotta decide. Pile on. And a Daxos. Daxos? Daxos. We are over four-fifths of the way done with this pack. We are almost there. We've almost... Uh, get this card out of my face. This card doesn't do anything. Just an ad space in the game. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's like, hey, here's an ad for something in something you already bought. Like, I don't... Okay, Ozolith, the Shattered Spire, and then Roth, and then... Oh, is that... Is that another myth? Oh, my gosh. Back-to-back -back mythic foils? Holy shit. Dahlia and the Gitrog monster. That is a mythic foil right there. Holy crap. I was not expecting. Wait, did we? I thought we pulled a thought. We did. Okay, so we have a non-foil and a foil. But double back-to-back -back foil mythics. Holy crap. From draft packs. What are we seeing here? What's going on? And yeah, poop. Poo poo. Rugged Highlands. What about the Lowlands? Get the Blade Agent. And we got. Oh, another Mythic. That's three Mythics back to back to back to back to back. Archangel Elspeth. She saves the day. She saves everyone. She is the best. She's the best. Around. Renata. Look at that. We actually pulled a decent amount of mythics. I mean, I hope we pull some more, but like, started off with like none, and then we hit like, f like four in a row, and three in a row, and fucking, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. They're like sticking together. Like they didn't shift out the, it's like if you get one, you're almost, not, you're not guaranteed, but you're, you know, it feels like you're almost guaranteed to get another one real quick afterwards. The Invasion of Tovada, and then another Umori the Collector. Let me find the other Umori the Collectors. Still love the art, but there's three in there. Almost got a full play set of that bad boy. I, you know, there's probably better ways to open a lot of this, but you know who doesn't care? Me. I don't care. We got another First Mate Ragvan. You want to tell me how bad my opening is? Also, put that in the comments below. Just comment, please. If you don't, I'll cry. If you do, I'll cry. It's a win-win or a lose-lose. Uh, Jero, 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 
and Hazaret. I know I'm saying that wrong every time. Freezing Flame, and then a Converter Beast. The Converter Beast. What is he converting? Is he the one that steals all your all the catalytic converters? Is the Converter Beast? It's an epidemic right now. People be stealing those motherfuckers like left and right. It's crazy. Um. Joyful Collective. Turkor, Turkor, Turkers. Ooh, there's another Kogla and Yadaro. And then a Timoret. I'm not going to show that. I don't care. Um, this is probably going to go up on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be honest. It's going to go up uh, Thursday night, Friday morning. Uh, with no editing at all. So what you see is what you get. And this is what you see on stream too. When I'm playing games, when I'm opening cards. Sometimes I know more about them. Sometimes I try to look into them more, and sometimes I just let it ride. We got the Progenator Exarch, Exarch, and then we got the we got Shram Senior Edificer. Edificer. I think I have another one of those too. Um, we can try to find it and then put them together. But I also might have only gotten a foil version of that. I know I pulled the, the, that guy. Maybe I got the foil. I did, and it's right. It's just right here in front of me. Right you can't tell. Because for some reason, even with these fucking bright-ass lights, it's like, yeah, no, it's dark as hell in that one area. Oh, that's probably because of this. Oops. <laughs> Still darker, but not as bad. <clears throat> That's on me. That one's on me. I'll take the blame on that one. Cool mountains here. Let's look at this. My hands are putting... putting like, yeah, the print quality doesn't seem great on these. If I'm going to nitpick, but it's also... It's not, like, horrible, but, like, it feels like there's a lot of... I don't know. Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree, Zada, and then a Foil Forest. All right, come on. Let's get some bangers before it's over. Let's get some bangers. Some bangers and mash. Get some bangers and mash right here. Come on now. We got a Tafari emblem. It's a different emblem, I feel like, than the other Tafari emblem we got. I think we got a different one. I don't, I don't know. You can go back and check me on that. We got the Dusk Legion Duelist. And then Ayara, first of Loch Fwain. I know we have another one of those. I'm gonna try to sort all these when I when I end stream. Just real quick, trying to sort them, get them all into their respective locations and safe ways to travel. You know, travel across the realms because that is important. Safety while traveling across the realms. But we got to complete the circuit. And then Radha. 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 Okay. Fork. Fork. Oh, this is not opening the way that I want it to. Nope. But you know what? It's going to open and we are going to get one of those dual side card things because... Oh, we're not. My brain did not... Cannot read or visualize things correctly right now. Um, what do we got? Come on, give us a banger. Fairy Mastermind. And then, ooh, we got a mythic. Arula, the war leader. Let's see if we can find Arula, the war leader. Just real quick, I'm not searching super hard. I think it's going to be gonna be a card six seven dollars not bad not too bad we'll take a ruler the uh, aurelia it's probably aurelia i don't know why i was saying a rule i think it's the you made me think a ruler aurelia but it's aurelia because i'm aurelia i'm just being stupid if you already yelled at me for that in the comments thank you if you didn't come on keep up keep up i don't have time for this I don't have time for these cards we got a Plains, Plain Jane, Rolly Plain Jane. All right, there we go. 
Invasion of New Phyrexia, that's another mythic pull. You know we love the mythics, even if they're not worth a lot. It might be. Who knows? And then Infected Defecta. Infecta. Infected Defecta. Defected Infector. We got the Incubator. The Incubator, yes. The Mount Hanyes. Then we go... On to the next, on to the next, on to the next. And we get the Deep Brood Way and then Quinde. Okay, sorry. I'm starting to, you know, we're starting to push on through real quick like, real quick like, real quick like. I don't know why I opened so many packs at one time. All right. Let's, uh, I already know that this is bad because I looked. It's a foil version of Ray, uh, Rayev. Rayev. All right, there we go. We got Yargle, Yargle and Multani. Hell yeah, Yargle and Multani, and then Dana. Dana. That is this Dina art. That's um. Jeez, my brain is dead. Um, that's from the one set with the stuff where you play the cards, right? That's a. That's that set, right? We playing cards and uh, and they do they uh, the abilities activate. Uh, Strixhaven, that's a Strixhaven style art, right? Ooh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got a Gin Gataxis. Gin Gataxis in the bag with a green with a Gore Claw Terror of Qualcisma. Qualcisma. But we got a gin. So now we are only missing Sheoldred. We have pulled everything but Sheoldred. I believe. We got an Urbras. I mean, we don't... T it, from different parts of the set. I know we don't have, like, everything from one part of the set. But we have... From the multiverse, Multiversal Legends. We have... Um, two Vorans and one... Elish non. Um, and then from the main set, we have one Vorin, the Jen, and two Urabrasks. So between them, we are only missing Shieldred, which would be cool. The Ancient Imperiosaur, and then the Ingarun Eyes, and then the Eye of Gataxius. Gataxius. Come on. We got three packs left. 90 packs. Ooh, Phyrexian Mirror Token. An island. And then we move and we groove. You're hearing me right. We move and we groove. And then we get the Grafted Butcher. And then Raph Weather. Oof. 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 Not looking too hot. Come on, we gotta end on something good. We gotta end on something good. We got a night. We got a blossoming sands. There we go. Okay, what do we got here? We have the invasion of Carsus. It's a rare invasion of Carsus. And then uh, Taysa Carla. Taysa? 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 Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic in the chat? In the comment section below. If anyone's in here, if anyone's listening, last pack magic. We need that. We need that. We got an island. We need that last pack magic. Oof. We have the invasion of Akoria. And then Yargle, no last pack magic, but it was cool. I think we got a lot of cool stuff. We got a lot of mythics. Honestly, out of 90 packs, we got how many mythics? How many mythics out of 90 packs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, maybe 16 to 20 mythics in 90 packs. That's I feel like that's decent. I don't know how what the normal ratio is, but this seems pretty decent. 20% of 
give or take. I know it's more or less depending on if it's 20 out of 90 or 16 out of 90. I don't know. Go to bed on time, brother. I'm about to, we're about to be done. Uh, we got through all the packs. It took you that long to go get a bagel. A bagel. You got a bagel over there. Um, but yeah, there's some cool art in this set. Um, I feel like it's not, I don't like it as much as the last set. Um, but I do like it. I just, you know, I feel like, I don't know how to explain it. Not that it's bad. It's just not as good as I was hoping it would be. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll just like grow. People will understand things better and it'll just technically be better. But like, I get, I like how they're like mixing some of the arts and that kind of thing. But I don't know. Just something doesn't feel, it feels forced almost. Like it doesn't feel like it's natural to me, but I'm also stupid. So like, you know, what, what do I know? But I believe that is where we're going to call it a day. And I just knocked into my desk. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to try to clean up and then go to bed. Um, but thanks for watching, Michael. Thanks for chilling out. Everyone that anyone that was in here, you know, I appreciate every single one of y'all. Was it a good stream? I don't know. I just kind of rambled and uh, talked about cards that didn't really show up that good, but we're here. Uh, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. If you're watching this on Twitch, thank you. If you're watching it on YouTube, go to Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, go to YouTube, subscribe, uh, follow, do all that stuff. I need the green screen back, but yeah, it's just, I don't have much room. I miss, I, I do miss the green screen streams, but I need to get another 4K camera for this. So, you know, if you subscribe, and I start making a little bit of cash roll. I can get another 4K camera so I can have one facing me and one there. So everything here doesn't look like shit. Um, but yeah, playing ARAM on the beach was nice. Was nice. It is nice to play ARAM on the beach. But all right, until next time, uh, thank you for watching. Peace.